All right, so uh, just wanted to give an update. Uh, I'm actually working with Frederick now on trying to get the fully responsive effects into main, um, as well as adding lightning block, which we've had in before, um, and the new, uh, I was calling it cut, it's now melt is the, the uh, name we're going after. Um, so those new effects we're working on looking, um, and a few other things. But right now, uh, when I originally showed the fully responsive stuff, I didn't have lightning block in there, and that's because I've been chasing uh, this concept, so I wanted to demonstrate it. So. What I'm going for with lightning block is in the fork we had an, an animation effect. So the idea of lightning block is like that scene with Mace where he's blocking Palpatine's attack. You get the lightning dancing at different spots along the blade and it's kind of moving. Um, my original mod had an animation using a bunch of nested pulses. Then uh, Matt, SA22C, he actually came up with a, an animation that he wrote into the style um, that did very similar things and looked great. Um, but now I want to take that idea and I want to merge it with fully responsive. So what I've been going after is kind of a hybrid style. So this style will have an animation, which is meant to mimic that lightning uh, dancing on the blade. But at the same time, it actually has two levels of control. So you can control the intensity with that twisting action. Um, and it just, it only affects the lightning a little bit because we still want it to be random. But it'll actually let you have either a little more intense lightning or a little less intense. Um, and then blade angle, um, which I still, this is just a demo, I still have a lot to do with it, but the idea is as the blade angle changes, it will actually let you focus that lightning and get back to where you're kind of blocking it and absorbing it. Um, so, kind of a lot to demonstrate, but uh, let me kind of show. So, what's going to happen when I trigger lightning block, you'll see the animation, there's different points of the lightning along the blade, kind of the idea is it's dancing. Um, these aren't finished effects, so they're, they're kind of just raw. Um, there's also no transitions or anything, so there'll be a lot more to come, but this is the, the, the baseline animation that will run. So you can see it's along different points. And if I'm doing nothing, it still does its thing. Now, if I turn the hilt a little bit, I can actually change the intensity or the size of some of those areas. Now, they still have a randomness to them, so they're still going to go in and out and move around, but I'm I can slightly change the intensity and, and add That'll be adjustable for what you want, um, but just turning that hill will change that intensity level. And now, in addition, the locations, as you change the blade's angle, it'll focus that lightning more down towards the center. So it lets you, just by reacting both with a twisting motion, and then also with an angle motion, you can actually get that lightning kind of focusing in as if you're really try and reflect it back. Um, so I still have a lot of work to do. So this is not the finished product. Um, getting that fine-tuned to the center has actually taken a lot of back and forth because um, I want to keep that animation so that it looks like lightning is really there, but I want to give that control. So I still have a lot to do with it, um, but it is coming along. It's, it, the concept is there. This is actually dealing with both. So it's doing its animation, but it's also taking uh, the information from the rotation as well as from the angle. Um, but fine tuning is going to take a while, um, and again, we're st I'm still working with Frederick on getting all of this into me, um, so there's a lot to do, um, but we're working on that. Um, we are also, uh, in my other videos, I refer to Cut. Um, we've now gone, changed the name to Melt um, for the main OS, so it'll be Melt, but that's the effect of uh, like Qui-Gon cutting through the door, um, and that also kind of has two controls to it. So. So this, as the turning motion actually gets, heats it up, so you go from a red to a yellow on the tip, so it looks like you're melting door, and it also changes the size of it, um, so the size of the effect reacts to the actual twisting of your blade, um, so this is melt, so the idea is to look like you're actually melting the surface. Um, and then another thing not related to fully responsive that now, um, in, in working with Frederick, is we're going to have the ability to add the color wheel but in your custom style. So uh, for OS 3.9 there's the color wheel which is the default color change. So if you don't have a color change set in your preset, you can go into the color wheel and you can change your colors. Um, what we've done now is we've actually made color wheel, or Frederick's done, um, I asked him, he did it, so, uh, is to have the, uh, the color wheel be something you can actually put into your style. That way you can pick which colors are affected. So this is an example. So with the effect of uh, melt, we have a, a red to yellow tip. If you just use the color wheel on that, it'll actually change that. So we don't want that. So now, but I still want to have, say, the color wheel here so you can change your color. So what we've done now 
is color reel is built into this style as the option so it will let you go through all of those colors and it's all based on just turning the hilt you can go through the full range of colors so you're just going to drop the color wheel in at the points in your style that you want Purple look, but then, but now my uh, cut the color of the yellow to orange won't, or, or sorry, red to yellow won't actually change. So um, if we didn't have this ability, that effect would not look right because then as you change the color of the blade, it's changing that. So the idea here is now that red to yellow can stay locked in for your effect, even if you change the color of the blade. So you still get that. So this way you can actually use the color wheel but not change all the colors in the blade. Um, which it's a, it's a small change, but to me it actually makes a lot more possibility. So we get to let's go around the green. So again I can change the color using color wheel, but then I can get oops, I can keep my effect there without worrying about changing it. So um, it's a kind of a, a good addition that will let these effects stand, um, but still give you that functionality of really tuning in the exact color you want for your blade. Um, so that's also in the works um, as an update coming out. Um, everything is still, I, I've had a couple questions both in PM and, and a few other places. Um, everything is still being worked on. There's a lot of stuff um, that Frederick's doing. Um, I'm helping a test, uh, you know, kind of suggesting some stuff. Um, but the goal, hopefully, is to get all of this into the main OS. Um, the, the fork is still there, but the fork is on 2.9, so that still has to be updated right now. The focus is switched over to getting this stuff into main. Um, but there's no timeline yet. Everything, there's, there's a lot to do, a lot to test. Um, so I'll update, and I'm sure forever will update everyone as we move along. Um, but just wanted to give kind of these, uh, these examples of what's coming. Um, and since this is the lightning block video, I'll show lightning block again with a different blade color. So again, animation and the controls. So lots more to come. Uh, hope you all enjoy.